Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Oh no. Let's go. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. There's the area. Must be here somewhere. We must be getting closer. Renrock will be pleased with our progress. The traffic is to tell us.
That works. Oh no. Friends are coming. way forward very perceptive my young friend it worked let's go Lumos. Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository I fear you're right professor there's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! Listen, more goblins up ahead. Why have we here? It's the students! Oh. 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 Fools of a Oh! <laughs> 
Closer, Professor. That way. are coming. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Maybe professors are pretty badass. Who's so defeated? Who's in charge? Your party couldn't be better, Professor Hackett. Thank you, Professor.
Uh huh. What we saw in we the cutscene. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What nice. do you intend to do with it? Ah. Uh, choices. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? The Keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand. But you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. Belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. 
Um, that's not good. Okay, this is Dark Souls boss fight. Controller somehow. Protect yourself again. Not for long. Good Fringo. Arrest the momentum. Defender. Descender. Me. 
Forever, Ranrock. Give up now, and I'll smite the shores of your deadly swift. There's nowhere to hide now, Ranrock. You will die! This ends here, Ranrock. You think you can stop me?
Anything worth using in this fight? now Goblin, big dragon. Yeah, this wasn't his. And I don't think it it caused it. It was all those feelings, pain. That home. That actually found a home with the Randrock.
would have loved you, my young friend. The wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. Well, uh, they had probably written it a bit differently, because I, I heard the main character yelling when he was uh, fighting with the uh, Randrock that this is for Professor Week. So, uh, kind of. <laughs> well, you can you can understand it several ways, but. You can all, all, also also understand it that uh, that way if you want. <coughs> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown. Brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <coughs> to Professor Fig! Yeah, this feels like a first Harry Potter, and I hope there will be DLCs and, and more, more, more to come. Can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian. I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I... I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. 
This, this can't be. It was the Loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Other Rookwood did depict some odd, odd kind of magic. So basically, this was the main plot. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you when the poachers ambushed us. I, it was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing. And, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Yep. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Highwing is nice company, but perhaps it's time to add a few more friends to your circle. I am starting to see the appeal of a human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone and share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. Uh-huh. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? <laughs> okay. Poppy Plumes. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give a short review uh, and tell my thoughts about this game after, after we finish. Which is to I'm ready today. to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? Okay. I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But so now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We can we ambush the ambushers. And he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. 
Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Hollow Rebellion. is around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Good for you. Arrest their momentum. Protect them. Right into our trap. Protector. Expelliarmus. This will not end in your favor. Okay, he's here. Little Natsione, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests, <laughs> but. I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Come now, you can do better than that. Come on, get... Accio. Two Ashamed to see. 
Apparently that wasn't the death curse. Curse you on, on uh, no. when when uh, an officer was uh, at site. No. So that's Capan for him. Yeah, uh, it's it. Ads Capan for him. Definitely. B pretty damning proof. Casting a curse on on a child. Ah, oh, she said in a wheelchair. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it would do me good to see my friend. Very well, but do not. Revelio. That sign. 
I'm no mother. It is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my... I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Sh sh survivors. Based on instinct, Guilty. my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Revelio. Now we have permission to be here. I bet. Expelliarmus, Lumos. Clock, clock, tower. Nice. Less visited place uh, of the Hogwarts. Then we go to speak to Weasley.
keeps things clean as a whistle, but it's who would that not I still think those those uh, cats are cursed. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the headless hunt. Yeah. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. Is, uh, I'm just glad you found mouth. such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students <laughs> she, are she's talking it. with the centaurs. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yay! And now we could finish the loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff, the wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw, and the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits I'd say 100 points to their house. <laughs> Only but 100 <laughs> points. Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner.
yeah. All right. So, <laughs> last thoughts. Um, a great open world game. I mean, I mean, this studio hasn't done open world games before. And uh, while I have been talking about these thoughts while playing, so short trip cap, they had like cars <laughs> game before, and this is exemplary good. 15 second rule open world that they build and it's the definite Harry Potter game everyone has always wanted so it was fun it was rough on the edges being made with small team but with love and there's lots of lots of stuff to do it, more like it's it was on the code side that didn't work out so well like Probably game is trying to load all the shaders at the, at the start and that's why it's like five minutes stuck with, with my with my computer, but I liked the gameplay from Dark Souls uh, Same things with the Dark Souls this control just doesn't cut it And but uh, but on the on the Plus side, yeah, it's 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 tactical. It's good. You need to be attentive, and stuff is hitting the fan, so so it's it's going to be uh, hard. But I think they graciously expanded the world of uh, Wizarding World because there's lots lots of other stuff than just Harry Potter. This this kind of setting would have so so much other st stories to tell and it this feels like this is the first of the series of the games so I, I think we could actually expect DLCs and and next part but as, as a game yes it's it has some highlights very good highlights rough edges these are to be expected there's nothing shame on because every game today is basically published at least part, partly broken just because there's a lot of lot of um, lot too many too much stuff to do when when you are developing a game and the thing even if you have a like very good QA uh, QA team and QA uh, department and culture. It's still going to be uh, uh, hard to hard to learn and surprises that okay maybe this this game doesn't work in this kind of setting because PC as a standard is uh, problematic because there's lots of different parts, different manufacturers and and some things work in other manufacturers when while doesn't really work on others so that's that's that but as for game yes I, I was pleasantly surprised and this is something I can't really stress too much in these years that uh, not many games are pleasant surprises there's a lot of expectations but to be able to pleasantly surprised that's quite rare unfortunately of course lowering your expectations to manageable level I had uh, lowered my expectations with this game so it wasn't such a such a problem when it was slightly broken at the start but it was surprised surpassed expectations and I don't see any reason to call, call this game with the names that be, some people actually called, like LGBT characters. Yes, this had very good, in a very very positive role, Sirona. So, yeah, I, I think it, it it's this game's credits are are very big, and they are like something that this is one of those games that you definitely should play before you die so that's going to 
go to that, that list list of uh, excellency list of uh, classics instant classics right away just because this was first first good definite Harry, Harry Potter game those old Harry Potter games were quite limited so and starting to make this kind of game as an open world that's really ambitious but it worked and there's not nothing else else to be said about this I, I'm glad they worked I'm glad they worked on, on this game and, and, and was happy, happy to play this and uh, age rating is totally fine this had um, good filmography good camera driving and it was like uh, at, at the cutscenes they didn't show any overtly violent or scary so that's why Peggy 12 is okay for this most of the movies that we show, see in movie theaters at least where I'm are 12 because game designers want to expand that game to the broad audience Possi uh, if possible so uh, game age rating shouldn't be used at, as a gatekeepers that we want to sell this game only to adults so it needs, needs to be Peggy 16 or 18 no nothing like that Harry Potters have always been whole full family stuff where both adults and children get get all they want and this had so, such a very very dark stuff we didn't I didn't play the Hufflepuff plot but it has as they even visit Azkaban in that that story so yeah very dark themes but uh, they, they weren't uh, explicitly shown so that's why well Peggy 12 is pretty good and that's how it should stay we shouldn't give age ratings based on implications but what's actually actually we know that what protects the children and there's lots of uh, movies and TV series that that actually know what to show what's what's okay to show uh, for each age rating and this is really good I, I won't be continuing more about this because I have been continuing this uh, talking about this for many years now about this topic but anyway as a game outstanding uh, areas and open world out outstanding there were some pacing issues uh, but I think the and and when when you should start actually actually to explore, so I waited like enough time to be able to explore. But you should be able to do those uh, Merlin thrusts right off the gate. And then there's there's this thing that there were a bit too much to do. So I was like I don't want to carry carry those at uh, find find those ancient magic hotspots although they would have actually helped me in the, in the end fight Merlin Thras uh, managed to do with uh, some small amount of, of them I did and that's that's enough slots for the for the main gear uh, upgrading gear funny that it was tied to tied to the animal handling and animal animal husbandry and uh, that was surprised that this game has so diverse things like animals uh, nabbing them uh, so st straight after the magical animals and where to get them nifflers of course and uh, this was crafted in love with love with all the all the harry potter uh, ingredients inside so lots of pleasant surprises all together of course, if they are going to make second second game or DLC, the expectations will be much higher, and that's that's going to be uh, uh, difficult to achieve those expectations because they are the expectations are prone to grow too too high. 
and and I didn't mind uh, that much of game being uh, slightly broken at, at the start because the plot was good and and I actually could could uh, do stuff that I wanted in this game so they were not too much hand holding or the open world wasn't too big either some open world games are too big this wasn't too big it had, it had, this had been uh, built on the 15 second rule so while Witcher uh, Witcher is like one minute or 30 second rule well one, one minute and Red Dead Redemption 2 is like one and a half, a half minute rule or something so the, because they are bigger and bigger games with a different kind of feeling it felt like the most of the stuff was at the north near Hogwarts so I didn't feel as much a need to go south but then again south I haven't been in much in south but it felt like there should have been small small attractions that would have drawn me there now it like was it was like couple hotspots that are very very important but otherwise they, these are really small minor t details I like the amount of the graphics and different kind of places they had been crafting and everything seems to be so fresh and uh, handcrafted and uh, well thought so yes I I'm I'm giving giving this uh, a plus because this is one of those games that are really going to be measured or other games are measured with this because this was well made and it, it managed to surprise everyone and even survive the harsh criticism at the start which wasn't uh, uh, totally totally uh, deserved Let's see, uh, it's, it's almost midnight. I'm going to leave the uh, roll, uh, text roll here. And good night, <laughs> everybody. Uh, next week we are going to, or from the Saturday we are going to, I'm probably going to play a bit earlier in Saturday, but next week I'm going to play something else. So, Belir Rami logging off from here so far. Have a good night.